Like you say, people try and have the goal just to get to the UFC. Don't get me wrong, I'm really grateful to get to the UFC, but this is only the beginning for me. I wanna, I wanna go all the way, I'm only 26, so I've got another 10 years at it at least. So I wanna, uh, I've got to win that UFC gold. I usually can outwit everyone, you know what I mean? Sometimes maybe my physical strength or outwitting Tom's hard. For anyone who doesn't know, like outwitting, like basically just mind games, just being clever than him. So making him throw shots, counter him and moving, building them into like attacks. You can't, Tom's my hardest spa out of everyone, not just in here, like the guys who come down. Like we've had some top, top guys coming in. Tom's my hardest spar, not just because of weight either. He's, he's tall, it's quite hard. Oh, he's, he's so fast, so clever. He doesn't let you have anything. And he throws combinations instead of single shots. It's very hard to outwit Tom. If you'll, you'll see sometimes in the camera, you'll acknowledge if I outwit him. Like I'll fake a kick and hit him with a hook. Fake a kick, go hook, go back to the kick. Stuff like that. Yeah, I'll... So, if I'm sparring with Tom, yeah, he's on to just me if I'm kicking me. So sometimes I'll... So I'll throw him a kick and throw something, but he's that pro jab. But then even he's onto them two fakes, so that's the goal. It's like a three fake drill, it's fucking hard. And he's still onto it then. Everyone has different different ways of coming into the fight, you know. I think we was talking about it just before training, you know, um Caitlin was asking Paul Kelly, does does he want to go in angry? You know, and um, some people do like that. But Tom's not. Tom's very laid back, very relaxed, and that's when he performs. And that's when he knocks people out because he catches them off guard. You know, he's very relaxed with his striking, very fast, very elusive. So he's, um, but he's going to do very well in that heavyweight division. In my eyes, I think he's going to be champion. I've said it on every interview, and um, you know, I'm not about to put any pressure on him. I think he's going to be something special. I mean, yeah, when we're driving up, because I give Tom a lift up um, to training, so we talk a lot, you know, he's asked me a few questions, but yeah, it's just, Tom will, be, Tom will be very relaxed on the day, that's the kind of fighter he is, do you know what I mean, he's experienced in himself, he's been doing jiu-jitsu for a long time, he's boxed, he's, you know, boxing Tyson Fury's camp and things like that, so he's got a lot of experience himself, but it's just kind of saying, just stay relaxed, treat it like any other fight, do you know what I mean, you could have fought any of these guys on the, on the local shows in the past, so... It's, it's just about staying relaxed, really. I, I was very relaxed on my debut. That's, that's when I performed. If you were to meet them in the street, you wouldn't think they were fighters. They're just, they're just really pleasant, nice people people you'd like your fucking daughter to meet. Not like those cunts, you know what I mean? Um, I think, uh, I think because they've both been in a gym environment around martial arts of some description since they were kids, that's taught them that discipline and that manners and well-respecting. You know, for, for, for a lot of people like me with my kids, I want them to do that same, to follow that same path, to have that same drive, that same commitment, that same mannerisms. The, um, the fact that they have nothing to prove. Well, I'm just saying I'm fast, even though I'm sluggish, I'm still fast next to the heavyweights. Tom's going to smash his head in, get a 50k. He's going to give me a grand and I'll give his call. So I just want a grand, that's all, just for my participation. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. If I get the 50 Gs, you can have 100 quid. 100 quid. <laughs> what I want is I'll have a pint off you. Yeah, I'll have your pint. Yeah. Because you're definitely getting the 50 Gs, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Right, that's the plan. Then there it is, then. I'm getting the 50 Gs. It's up there. Maybe not five years, but a little bit after that, I'm, I'm going to be UFC heavyweight champion of the world. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna win that and then I'll probably retire after that that's the plan is I just want to I'm not someone who wants to stay there for like to be like a legendary fight or anything I want to I want to get the gold to get the money and then and then get out do you know what I mean that's what I want to do unless it's hard to say though in it when they're offering you millions and you're 35 36 40 whatever however old you are and you still want to do it and it's hard to say when you'll stop but I'm definitely 100% going for that UFC belt.